So I'm going to talk to you about our setup and how we achieve it. So what we have here is a piece of scrap. You know, it's not something we're going to be using very easily. And what we do is that we use our uh, our depth gauge, right, or our, our marking gauge, and we we set it up to the depth that we needed it. And what we have over here, if you look at the squirrel mark, basically our depth gauge mark. That we put a pencil line so you can see it a little bit better. So after doing our marking gauge, all we have to do is line up our blade to the height of our line. So put that down, bring our our stick with our line right up against the fence. And we'll be able to lift it to there, move it around a little bit. We'll find the high spot of that blade. It's about there. Lower it so we got exactly the height that we need, and then lock up our. What I have here is a, a block that I picked up out of the trash, put a piece of double sided tape in the back of it. I'm going to put it right up against the dado, and then bring the fence right up against that, glue it onto the fence, lock down the fence. A little bit too close. Yeah, that's perfect. And we're going to do a test pass to check all of our settings. Checking my test piece, and what I see is that it's a little bit deep. I gotta lower the blade just a tad. Test out again. Now what I ended up doing there is my blade was a little bit high because I tested with my, with my depth gauge. My blade was a little bit got high so I, I lowered it a little bit and then I cut another piece again and got that exactly where I wanted it. Now everything is set up properly and I'm ready to start cutting some real pieces. Get excited. That's how I set up my cable saw.